Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I made this awesome looking car that you can control using your mobile phone. Let's go. Right, so let's go through the components we'll be using for this project. First up, we've got our ESP32 microcontroller. This is really a perfect fit for this project for a couple of reasons. Firstly, it's got built-in Wi-Fi, which is exactly what we need to be able to control the car wirelessly. And secondly, it's got a fair amount of GPIO pins, which we'll come on to later, but it means that we can use this to hook up everything else. So that's our microcontroller. Then we've got our motor driver. So this is where our motors will be attached into, and this will be connected in turn to the ESP, and it'll help us drive our motors. Got a couple of DC motors, these are fairly standard. Um, you guys have probably seen these used elsewhere, but for our project, this will work just fine. And here I have an L7 805 voltage regulator. The amount of voltage we're going to need to power the motors is too much for the ESP, so this is going to down regulate the voltage to prevent us from frying the ESP. So that's a key component there. And then last but not least, our 9 volt battery pack. So these are the main components we will need. So here's the plan using the components we just discussed. First off we've got our 9 volt battery with its positive and negative terminal. The battery is going to be powering the motor driver which in turn powers both our DC motors. That's what's going to get the car moving. The 9 volt is also going to be powering the ESP, but it's going to go through the voltage regulator. So it's going to bring it down to 5 volts. This is the 9 volts, we want 5 volts, and then it's going to power the ESP. The signal from the motor driver is going to be connected to the GPIO pins on the ESP32, and then both the driver and the ESP are both grounded to the 9 volts. So that's the plan. We're going to go ahead and move on. Once I had all my components ready, I hopped into ChatGPT to get both a sketch and some wiring instructions, which I could then use to create the project in real life. So for this project, I'm going to be using a perf board. This is one that I took out from an older project and this is just going to help me keep most of the components in one secure area rather than having things floating around. So that's that. Here's the ESP we're going to be using and you can see I put on these female header pins, so I'll just take these off. So rather than putting the ESP onto the perf board and soldering it up, making it difficult to get this back off, what I'm going to do is put these female header pins on like so. And then these will go onto the perf board like, like this. So, let's just find a better way of doing this. There we go. So, the female header pins get soldered, and then this ESP, once it's soldered, I can take it on and off as needed. So, that means I don't have to condemn it to being on this perf board indefinitely. I know you can remove soldered components, but this just seems like a, a cleaner way of doing it. So that'll be that. And then we have our voltage regulator. That'll also be going on the perf board like so. That can go pretty much anywhere. Something like that. That'll be one part of the project. And then we have our motor driver. So this is what the two motors will be going into. These aren't going to be connected, but I'll keep them sort of close by. Something like that. And then the wires don't have too far to go. So that's the plan so far. I'm gonna go ahead and get this soldered up now. So here you can see the female header pin soldered on. Here's the ESP and it just nicely slots into place. There you go. So that's the ESP taken care of. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get the voltage regulator soldered on.
So here's the finished perf mod. So we've got our ESP voltage regulator all soldered on. That's what it looks like from underneath. And here is our motor driver. So the next step is to model basically a chassis or a basic frame that I can use to put these two on, have the motors housed, and then have everything wired up with the wheels that we made. So that's the next step. Now we're gonna jump over into Fusion 360 and go ahead and get that made. So let's go. This is a quick run through of the design that I made in Fusion 360. So I started off by making a set of wheels, which I'll show you guys in just a second. Then I made all the components that I had soldered onto the perf board and the motor driver, mocked those up, got those into the right position, roughly speaking. And then I had, an, uh, then I went ahead and built a, a car sort of enclosure around it. So you can see that's me going through the steps there. The design took a couple of revisions and a couple of reprints, but after a little bit of tweaking, I was able to get everything to fit together properly, which you guys will see in a few minutes. Then it was off to the 3D printers to go ahead and get everything printed in PLA. Right guys, so let's have a run through of all the 3D printed parts. So, this here is the main chassis that all the electronics will be resting on. And then on the side here, you've got some mounting holes for the motors, there and there. These little indents are where the axles will be glued on. So. This is one of the axles that I printed there. That's gonna go on there. Already a pretty decent fit, but we're gonna use a little bit of adhesive just to help keep that secure. So there's gonna be one there and one there. Now, once we've got all the electronics on, this is the cover that's gonna get fixed onto the top of the car, like so. So that will house all the electronics and will keep them from getting damaged or moving or anything like that. So that will go there. Those are the two axles, like I mentioned. These two, if the camera can pick that up. So these two are what I've just called wheel stops. So there's four wheels, two are gonna be stuck onto motors and two are just gonna be passive, the two front ones. So the passive ones are gonna go on this axle. Once they go on, again, a little bit of fixing and that's gonna stop the wheels from coming off, <laughs> literally. So. Those are a couple of wheel stops. These are the rims. So the two stone colored ones are for the front wheels. And you can see those have circular cutouts in the middle. That's for the axles to go through. And then these are the ones I showed you guys earlier. The blue rims are for the ones that are gonna go onto the motors. That's just to help me differentiate between the four. Here are the TPU tires. So again, they're just going to fit over onto the rims like I showed you guys earlier. I was actually planning to use a little bit of super glue on these again, but the fit is pretty good. So um, we may be able to get away with that, but we'll, we'll play it by ear. So those are the wheels. And then in terms of electronics, here are the motors. I've already got, I've already got these soldered up from a previous project. And then what I showed you guys before, we've got our perf board with the ESP and voltage regulator, and then our motor driver. And last, but definitely not least, our nine volt battery on a snap-on. So that's basically all the main components ready. What I'm gonna do now is get things soldered up and almost do like a little dryer run. So get everything soldered up, get everything fixed on, and then I've got a very basic sketch I'm gonna use just to make sure all the electronics are working then we can get to work on 
the interface and making sure it works exactly how we want. So that's the plan from now. So here's everything soldered up. So we've got our motor driver here, soldered onto the perf board, which houses the ESP and the voltage regulator. And then we've got our two motors soldered on as well. I've labeled them A and B. That's how they're referred to in the program. So this just makes it easier for me to know what's going on. So that's, and here's the, <coughs> Here's a snap-on for the battery. So that's the electronics done. I've tested it in this form and it all works absolutely fine. So the next step then is to get everything mounted on the chassis and all the other parts that I showed earlier. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So guys, this is the first wheel that I printed, or the first couple I should say. So this is based on the model that you just saw me making in Fusion 360. Sorry about the wobble in the camera, the printers are going and it's just causing a bit of a shake. But anyway, so these are two separate pieces. You've got a bit of TPU there, which is basically the tire, and that's gonna give it some grip. It's quite nice there. And then this is the rim. It goes on like that. So it's a very nice snug fit. I was planning to use a little bit of super glue around it, but I'm, I'm thinking I might be okay. And then it, here's one of the motors I'll be using. Again, going for a nice friction fit. And there you have it. So. Those wheels are working perfectly. This was the part that I wanted to get right first. Now let's go ahead and start modeling the rest of the chassis and everything else. Guys, here's the finished product. So that's everything put together, the wheels, the electronics and everything. And I gotta say, I'm really liking the way this looks. It's got a bit of a tank military look to it. And to be honest, I chose these filament colors purely by random choice. 
and it ended up looking pretty good. I'm quite happy with the way the colors have turned out here. So that's what it looks like. Nice solid assembly. There you go. Now it's time to put it to the test. And this was the final moment of truth. All the hard work had led up to this and here we go. And I was so thrilled to see how well the car was working. It was almost exactly what I imagined when I sat out on this project. It's not perfect however, there's a couple of things I'd like to improve in upcoming versions, especially with the lag time between choosing different options and that, the way the mechanics work. But otherwise I'm really really happy with the way this turned out. And that's a wrap guys, I'm going to leave some links to similar videos if you'd like to go check those out, otherwise please consider liking and subscribing to support the channel, and I'll see you all next time, bye bye.